lot of obesity seems to hinge on this idea that we're overeating these hyper palatable, really delicious foods that are constantly available to us. At the end of the day, doesn't it come down to if we eat too much, we're going to gain weight, no matter no matter what the food is? So, this l lends itself to this notion that a calorie is a calorie, that it's all about the calories. You eat too much, you exercise too little. Therefore, it's about two behaviors, gluttony and sloth. Therefore, if you're fat, it's your fault. Therefore, it's not the company's fault, it's yours. That's where this comes from. The question is, is it true? Is a calorie a calorie? There are many reasons to think that that's not the case. Number one, obesity and diabetes are not the same. Turns out there are countries that are obese without being diabetic, such as Iceland, Mongolia, Micronesia, and there are countries that are diabetic without being obese, such as India, Pakistan, and China. In America, we are the most obese nation. We only have a 9.3% diabetes prevalence. India and China are thinner than us, but they have an 11% diabetes prevalence. If obesity is the problem, if calories are the problem, then how do you explain that they have a higher diabetes prevalence than we do? In addition, if you look at the rate of increase of diabetes in America, turns out that the rate of increase for the obese population is exactly the same as the rate of increase for the normal weight population. If it were about obesity, wouldn't you expect the obese to be increasing their prevalence at a greater rate? And then when you look at years of life lost, it turns out that the years of life lost in the normal weight population due to sugar consumption are just as great as the years of life lost in the obese population due to sugar consumption. If it were about obesity, you would expect it to be worse for the obese population. Bottom line, it's not about obesity. And we now have the data that shows why that's true, why it's not about calories, because a calorie is not a calorie, because it's about insulin and insulin resistance. Insulin resistance being the phenomenon where your insulin doesn't work well, so your pancreas has to make more. And insulin drives all of those chronic metabolic diseases. The reason sugar is so pernicious and such a problem is not because the whole body metabolizes sugar, it's because the liver metabolizes sugar. And all of the sugar that you consume goes to the liver and the liver has no choice but to turn that excess into liver fat. And it is that liver fat that causes the liver to not work well, to become insulin resistant, then the pancreas to make extra insulin to make the liver do its job. And that increased level of insulin drives the heart disease, ultimately burns out the pancreas, causes the hypertension. And now we believe also drives cells to divide potentially promoting cancer, and also has effects on the brain that we think lead to dementia. So in fact, it's not about the calories, it's about the insulin response that those calories cause. And the insulin response is very specific to the food consumed. Processed food, because it's refined carbohydrate, because it's sugar laden, is the most egregious in terms of driving insulin, insulin resistance, and all of these chronic metabolic diseases. And that's what the industry is selling.